when you don't have another hand but still need to clap to line up the audio. I get asked all the time if Nukazon is still worth using in 2024. It's a valid question. The New Horizons community is a fraction of the size of what it used to be, which means there are way less resources for players to utilize to be able to properly play this game. Nukazon used to be the go-to place if you needed anything. It was full of other players willing to trade items. If you didn't have any friends that played, or maybe your friends just didn't have the specific item that you needed, someone on Nukazon probably did. With New Horizons being a dead game, is Nukazon still a good resource? Or is it just full of bots and scammers waiting to just take all of your hard-earned work? The first question is, are you going to actually find what you need on Nukazon? This obviously depends on what people list. Nukazon as a site isn't listing anything for trade. It's all community driven. The website is just a space that allows us to do that. So it all comes down to whether or not someone is trying to sell or trade an item that you happen to need at that moment. And with way less people playing the game, less people are trading or selling their stuff. But I feel like most of the popular items can still be found here pretty easily. After a quick look through of what's currently listed as I'm writing this script, uh, I'm sure if you dig deep enough, there's probably something that either doesn't have a listing up or maybe the listings are months old and the user probably doesn't respond. And I doubt people are checking Nogazan as religiously as they used to. So you might have to do, you might have to do a bit of digging to find something recent. Another big question, will these listers get back to you quickly? Only one way to find out. So I started making some offers. I have a bunch of Nook Mile tickets. Usually these are a pretty standard form of payment. Sometimes people would rather stuff on their wish list, but I'm just trying to quickly see if anyone responds and I know I have a ton of Nook Mile tickets, so Nook Mile tickets it is. First up, these mystery bags. This was the most recently listed item. I tried to make an offer, but someone apparently beat me to it and the listing disappeared as I was logging in to double check that I did indeed have the number of Nook Mile tickets that I was promising. So I went for another hot item of the day, the Suspicious Cauldron. Threw my offer in for Nook Mile tickets again and was immediately denied for my offer being too low. A little salty, but uh, at least I got a reply quickly. So there are people still using Nookazon, but it was hard to find a listing that was under an hour old, even in the most recent listings. There are a ton of items here, but trying to find something you need immediately with a recent listing, mm, that could be a pain. Who knows what happened in this person's life in the last hour that they went from listing their suspicious cauldron to getting ready to give away their suspicious cauldron. Maybe they had to do the laundry or go to work. Are they hanging out on Nookazon all day watching all these ads play? Probably not. They're probably doing something better with their time rather than waiting for someone to respond to a game that I wouldn't say barely anyone plays. People play. But compared to 2020, barely anyone plays. So I spent the time looking for something that someone listed within the last few minutes so that odds were they were still on the website. I went to the recent listings tab and picked the top thing, which was 30 gyroid fragments and sent in my offer of 100 Nook Mile tickets. I doubt they physically saved up these gyroid fragments over days of playing. I'm sure these are just from a treasure island or whatever, so I felt that my treasure island tickets were a good trade. But to avoid the too low denial, I figured 100 tickets was a good way to sweeten the deal. There's no way that you can turn down 100 Nook Mile tickets, right? I waited a bit longer than I thought I would have, seeing as I grabbed one of the most recent listings available to me. But eventually, Lulu did get back to me, and off to their island I went. I was afraid of Lulu being a bot, uh, but the fact that they didn't message me immediately made me think that, that they were a human, and their messages were pretty human-like. Although we've seen examples of bots being pretty human-like. Anyway, I trusted it and went to their island, which is always way better than them coming to your island. Whenever I use Nukazon, even in the past, I'm always ready to shut off my switch and kill the internet connection just in case. You never know what people are gonna do. Like I was trying to give Raymond away one day, literally fenced the player in so they couldn't go anywhere except this Mario pipe to warp right to Raymond's house. As someone who has opened up their island to people in the past, including your mods can't trust anyone so thank you lulu for your 30 gyroid fragments i am very excited to expand my collection i am still trying to collect them all like some kind of crazy pokemon master so this has gotten me a bit closer also they seemed really excited about the 100 nook mile tickets and now i feel a little guilty that i only brought 100 tickets seeing as my storage is kind of full of them at the moment Man, tipping culture in America has really like made me feel guilty about not even tipping people on Animal Crossing. 
All in all, not a bad experience. I think if I was going for something specific like a villager or an item that was listed over an hour ago, the response time would probably be a lot longer if they even responded at all. Are there bots out there? Probably. Just like back in the heyday of the game's popularity, you always have to be careful of scammers and bots who are just there to make your day more difficult. But there are indeed real nice people on the site still willing to trade and enjoying the game along with you, which was really refreshing to see, honestly. I love when people also love Animal Crossing. It brings so much joy to my heart. One thing I was worried about is the economy of Nookazon. Was 10 Nook Mile tickets really too low for a suspicious cauldron? I guess it's kind of a hard to get crafting recipe. You do need the DLC and it's a physically crafted item instead of just a duplicate. But I feel like 10 Nook Mile tickets would have been acceptable back in the day, especially seeing as there it was a free one being offered a few listings down. But it seems like the first person did indeed get whatever they were looking for in the trade because that initial listing, it disappeared shortly thereafter. However, I think other ways of getting items like Treasure Islands have definitely affected the economy of Nookazon. Maybe 10 tickets was way too low because that original person also had hundreds of tickets in their own storage. Treasure Islands are definitely the Nookazon killer. Nookazon and other fan-created sites that we all utilized in the early days of New Horizons probably would still be a lot more active if Treasure Islands didn't exist. Why wait an unknown number of minutes for someone to maybe reply to your trade offer when you can just go to Twitch, find an island, and show up? I can get everything I need in a second without waiting on somebody else's time. But if you're looking to still trade and interact with real people, Nookazon is still the way to go. There really isn't a better resource out there. The Animal Crossing community as a whole has obviously slowed down. This game has been out for four and a half years. Many are counting down the months, hopefully not years, until the next game in the series. But for now, many have moved on to other cozy games like Paleo or Disney and Dreamlight Valley, which are still getting consistent updates and new content. Don't worry though, the community will be alive and well soon enough, but it is crazy to see how all these fan-made sites have just completely changed over the years. Even places like Turnip Exchange that were completely crowded with players are all but barren. It's hard to find people still doing Animal Crossing content on YouTube, me included. I've started talking about other games that I've been enjoying. But Animal Crossing as a whole isn't going anywhere. The series has been alive and well for over 20 years, and Nintendo won't be giving up on it anytime soon, especially with all the cool collabs that Nintendo has been doing with the series. I'm really excited for the future and the new game and all the new stuff that everyone comes up for it. I love how the Animal Crossing players came together to make these fan-made features for everyone, and I love that Nintendo didn't shut any of them down. You never know what the ninjas are going to be okay with, so thank you Nintendo, thank you Nookazon, and thank you for making New Horizons that much better for everyone. Unless you were a jerk and were reporting people's star fragment trees, then I don't like you. How are you still getting items in Animal Crossing? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!